Meat, milk, and fish are critical to the poor, both as food and income. While research has hugely increased farm production in rich countries, we haven't succeeded yet to help the millions of family farms in developing nations to raise their production very much. All that good science has not translated into significant improvements in the amount of milk, meat, and fish that people are able to produce and put on their tables for themselves and their communities. To change this, we're experimenting with a new approach. The focus of research in the past was on research products. Now we're making ourselves accountable for getting research into use. This is what a new program called More Meat, Milk and Fish by and for the Poor is all about. So what's different about this program? Well, for one thing, we're addressing the whole way these foods move from small farms to the plate. This is called a food chain, which includes producing, processing, selling, and consuming the meat, milk, and fish. And, right from the start, we're working to design big interventions that can transform whole farm-to-plate chains in selected countries. This will help us scale up our research with direct benefits for large numbers of people. Also, we're teaming up early with development partners who know how to take these interventions to scale. Finally, our program is focusing all its research capacity on just eight farm-to-table livestock and fish systems, selected because their successes can be replicated in many other regions. These eight systems include small-scale dairying, goat and sheep raising, pig production, and aquaculture in eight countries in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. Our intention is to show that small-scale farmers and businesses, already central to feeding the world's poor, will be key to food security up to the year 2050, when global populations will peak. We want to demonstrate that their systems can be transformed And this kind of science can make a big difference in everyone's lives. By doing research in this different way, we expect within a decade to see more meat, milk, and fish being produced and consumed by the people who need it most.